Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and I'm doing another a video in the stencil sets that I just released in my Etsy shop and I hope you go and check those out. So I'm really excited about this. I would consider this sort of my flagship piece. This is the one that I really started with and that I spent the most time on and I'm going to hold it up. I'm not too sure you'll be able to see it, uh, how well you'll be able to see it. Maybe if I put a piece of cardstock behind it um, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. <laughs> Um, maybe not. <laughs> this is my flagship one and what I'm really thrilled about this one is for those of you who want to start using squares in some of your work, which is something that I am branching out into, this particular stencil has a circle on the top and then a square on the bottom. And so that really saves you from buying multiple stencils, um, but it does require that you turn the stencil, you know, so you're doing the top part and then you have to turn it to do the bottom part of the circle or square. So at any rate, I'm really excited about that. So I have this one, which um, I'm calling my circle square combo stencil, and that one's gonna be available. And then, of course, if you don't want to use the combo one, if you prefer, um, you could purchase just a square. So there's the 12. This is 12 by 12, 12-inch 12 square. And I've taken it all the way out to 11 inches, and there are um, grid marks every half inch, and then this is a 16 segment. So here's the square. Um, and then, of course, here's our basic um, circle. So stay tuned for this video uh, because we're going to walk through how to use these and, um, and then take a look at, um, at how this turns out in the end. So stay tuned and I'll come back at the end. Okay, so here is the combo stencil and you can see that it has, um, it's a half circle and then a half square. And so it's really multi-purpose and that's what I really like about this particular one. So as usual, just find the center of whatever uh, you're using, in this case I'm using just a piece of heavy weight cardstock here. So I'll go from corner to corner and find the center. Uh, this stencil is 12 by 12, so it's um, a good size for a lot of the canvas work that you'll do. So you go ahead and place the canvas, or place the stencil rather, and find the center and in the center hole and just line that up. And then you're able to start uh, actually uh, going ahead and marking it. So you mark the top first and once you get that marked I'll just speed it up here so you can see it. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that you don't have to use all of these marks. These circles are every half inch and there are 16 segments but you you know use as many or as few as you need to in order for the project um, that you've got. So I do the circles and then I go in and do the lines for the segments and get all of those marked. And then you can see how that turns out once you get that, that marked. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip it. I flipped the paper, but you could flip the stencil and just find the center again and mark the same side, uh, the same way you did on the first side. And there you go. You've got a perfectly round stencil. And then we'll do um, the same thing with the square, but you can use the stencil on lots of different sizes. Um, and I'll just flip that over and do the square and mark the center. Line it up. And then just do the same thing of marking it. I think it's really neat to be able to have uh, both the circle and the square stencil on the same um, on the same stencil, but I do have uh, just the full circle and the full square available if you're interested in that. So there you go, and you've got a really nicely marked uh, set of guidelines. You could do a quarter. You know, you can change this up as to how you how you place the stencil on whatever it is you're marking. And then this uh, red one, the red card. So there was the circle. Here's the square, and here's the red card. And you can see that I just used fewer. Um, fewer grid lines on that one. So I want to thank you um, for watching this series of videos and if you're interested in these I hope you check them out. I'm really excited uh, about these particular stencils though because I love the quality of this material. I really had to search a long time to find exactly the stencil material that I was looking for. So it's very sturdy. Um, it won't 
uh, it's not going to tear. It's going to clean up beautifully. You know, if you have paint on it, you can use a baby wipe or something to clean that paint off. It's also uh, translucent, so you can. It's not. It's not clear. It's translucent. It's got a little milky finish, which I actually like because I think it actually helps you. I think line up a little bit better. But um, it's got a nice um, translucency to it, so that you can see through the uh, suit through your work. And let's say that you started a painting, you're partway through, it's dry, and you want to um, add some additional grid marks to continue on with your painting, you're going to be able to see through and be able to line the stencil up really well. So I'm really excited about that. So I hope you enjoy these products. Um, I'm thrilled to be able to bring you them um, from all the way when I started <laughs> the DIY stencils several years ago up to today. I'm really thrilled with how, um, how I've progressed with these. So I hope you enjoy them. Hope you check them out. Thanks so much, uh, as always, for watching the videos and for supporting me. I've appreciated it very much. So thanks for joining me in my studio. Take care.